Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast, the show that gives you advice on everything from hair to fashion to skincare products. We'll talk about the latest trends in makeup, hairstyles, and anti-aging remedies, and we'll cover all of the newest fashion trends. If you have an interest in or questions about the beauty and fashion trends that might work best for you, the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast has got you covered. Welcome to GSMC Beauty Tips Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. Hello, hello, everybody. How is it going today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far and you've had a wonderful week. Happy Friday. You've made it to the weekend once again. Let's celebrate. Um, I'm excited to be back and to be sharing some more information with you on today's episode of Beauty Tips. Today, I really kind of wanted to talk about, you know, confidence, and I wanted to kind of round today's episode out on, you know, normalizing that it is okay to to get ready for no reason, um, just to feel good, other than just to feel good. I've done this so many times. I currently work from home most of my time, um, so I'm at my house a lot, and I know a lot of us have been, during this pandemic, working from home, and I feel like we get into a routine where we don't really do our hair or our makeup. We kind of sit in our pajamas or our sweats because we're working from home, and it's like, why get all like dazzled up when you don't really need to and then after a while though it takes a toll on me so I know I'm not the only one that that feels that same way as well and then once in a while I just need to get ready I just gotta you know put on a cute outfit do my hair put some makeup on just to kind of bring that confidence back you know give my self-esteem a little bit of a boost a little bit of a feel-good serotonin because I feel like when we look good we feel good and that is just a universal thing and I know you agree with me even if you're like, you know, it's not always about our appearance, right? We want to feel good on the inside. But I do believe that if you feel confident, you feel beautiful on the outside, it helps you feel confident, beautiful on the inside. And that's super important. So first of all, I want to start with saying that it is so normal to get down on yourself when you haven't really been putting in any effort in yourself. Uh, I get it, like totally. I experience this all the time. And then I will have my one day or if I plan a night out or something like that, I get to get ready. And it's like that little bit of just self-confidence that, you know, comes back from just getting ready, putting on some makeup and, you know, feeling good about myself. So today's episode is all about a night out, you know, beauty essentials. I'm going to talk all about, you know, makeup, fashion, hair when it comes to a night out. And, you know, I say night out just because I feel like... It's kind of like the most common thing to like get ready and go out for, whether it's like a girls' night or a date night or even just dinner with the family at a restaurant or, you know, just some kind of night out. You know, we we always kind of get a little bit more fancy, get a little bit more dressed up and, and feel good about ourselves. But Everything I'm going to be talking about today, you know, it doesn't just have to go into a night out. Um, it can just go into any any day that you just want to feel good and feel confident. So today's all about those beauty essentials and those three kind of main aspects. So your makeup, your hair, and your fashion. I'm also going to be talking about some beauty essentials that you do not want to leave the house without. So you want to have these in your purse when you're going for a night out, whether that's a girl's night or a date night or whatever the case is. I'm going to give you some essentials you want to keep in your purse. I'm also going to tell you my one holy grail beauty essential, okay? And a lot of you will be quite surprised. Um, Most of you will probably not consider it a beauty essential, (laughs) but to me, I find it one of my beauty essential um, items, and you can agree or disagree. I will explain my reasoning behind it, and to me, it's just one of my beauty essentials. So stick around to near the end of the episode when I share that with you, because you're probably going to be a little bit surprised. Um, 
But with that being said, let's jump into this. Let's talk all about confidence and feeling good and all those beauty essentials for a night out or just for a day that you need a little bit more of a serotonin confidence boost. These are my tips for you. So, you know, have you ever heard of the phrase, work hard, play hard? right? So it's something, you know, that a vast amount of people swear by as a life mantra. Um, You know, it's something that they use as fuel for life. You know, so many of us work in a high-powered, demanding jobs these days, whether you are doing, you know, exhausting physical labor or slaving away in the office for hours upon hours. Um, Even for the most motivated people, long days at work can really seem fruitless and, you know, if they come without a reward, right? And so I love the saying, work hard, play hard, because yeah, work hard, get your dreams, make that money, go after the things that you want, but also you got to enjoy your time and you got to have those nights out where you're just having fun, you let loose, you don't worry about anything but a good time. So, you know, that is why, you know, so many people do see a night out as an opportunity to kind of reward themselves for a tough work week. And I'm all about that. I love, you know, a Friday night comes around or a Saturday night comes around and you just get to let loose, forget about your work week and you know kind of get yourself a little bit of a reboot confidence boost for the next week to come so if you are someone who lives for the weekend or you will know that going out you know with your friends to a restaurant or a bar or a, or a club or a combination of all three of those things um, that can be a great way to kind of let your hair down and just enjoy some time out of the workplace and if your night out is for a particular special occasion or if it's just for you know the first time in a few months that you're going out on a weekend you may even want to make you know a special effort for it and so that's why I'm going to talk about some beauty essentials just to boost that confidence, do some special extra things for your night out or for your confidence day boost that you need. So, you know, when a night out is planned, you know, when it's planned way in advance or it's really hyped up, many of us, especially women, enjoy taking the time, you know, to plan our outfits and get our hair done and, you know, practice the makeup look we plan to wear, all those fun things. Because after all, they do say that getting ready is half the fun. And I agree with this. I remember always going out, even in high school, like going to high school parties or, you know, when I started being able to go to the bars and stuff later on in life, getting ready with my my girlfriends before we went out was seriously like 80% of the fun, right? Getting ready, doing each other's hair and makeup, picking out outfits together, everyone's drinking wine and blasting good music. And honestly, it's like seriously some of my favorite parts. Some of my favorite memories are just from getting ready with some girlfriends before a night out. So I also want to, you know, touch on that and make sure that you're having fun while you're getting ready for your night out. And I'll talk about some essentials for all those fun times when you're getting ready with your girlfriends or even just by yourself or with your spouse or a significant other. You know, there's so many things that we can do to feel good just during the process of getting ready before our night out. So for anyone, you know, who's still maybe in some doubt about, you know, what to do, you know, for my hair, for my makeup, for what outfit I'm going to wear for my night out this weekend, well, don't you worry. I'm going to jump on all those things, give you kind of a good checklist and, and points to think about. So I know we all kind of wish that we could like take our entire makeup bag on a date with us because there's nothing like worse than like, you know, say like a drink gets spilt on your face or something, worst case scenario, right? And it gets spilt on your face and then your makeup is ruined and your mascara is rolling down your eye or rolling down your face and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I just had my entire makeup bag to like fix my look, right? But we can't always do that. So I am going to be talking about some essentials that you want to keep in your bag that will just keep you fresh and looking beautiful all night long. So with that being said, the first thing I want to talk about is that fun part of getting ready. And I love getting ready for a night out. First of all, I'll pour myself a glass of wine or whatever drink I'm I'm drinking that night. Or what, if you don't drink, that's totally fine. Pour yourself some water to stay hydrated or whatever you want to drink. Um, I put my music on. I'll go onto Spotify or Apple Music. I'll find a playlist. There's like girls night out playlist. There's, you know, party playlist. There's even getting ready playlist. Whatever kind of music you're feeling to like amp you up for a night out, put that on. 
grab your wine, you know, and I always like to have a very organized and clean room or like getting ready space, whether you get it ready in your bathroom or your bedroom or whatever the case is. I love to make sure it's all nice and tidy and organized so I know where everything is. And for me, you know, just messiness makes me stressed out and there's, it's not good to be stressed out before you're going on a night out. Um, especially if you're with your girlfriends, you're having some girls over to all get ready. Just make sure everything's organized and kind of put together so you guys can get ready efficiently, not you know running around the house looking for something so those are my first few kind of getting started tips now I want to jump into the staples for each aspect so for makeup hair and fashion um I am going to take a little bit of a break before I jump into those, but there's so much information to be shared with you today. I'm going to talk about, you know, the products you don't want to miss out on when it comes to your makeup. I'm going to talk about giving you some tips for your hair, ways to make it look beautiful, some styles that maybe you could try that might be a little bit different. Then I'll jump into fashion and we'll talk about, you know, first of all, the appropriate clothing that we should be wearing on a night out, those suitable shoes to be walking around town all night, um, you know, how to, how to decide on an outfit because I know I'm not the only one who changes their outfit 20 times before going out. So we're going to talk about that. And then I'm going to give you some don't forget items that you do not want to miss out on, right? So just some things that sometimes we might slip up if we're rushing out the door. So I'll give you a list of those. And then of course, what to carry in your purse on a night out. And then I will sum it all up with my one beauty essential, which you probably won't consider a beauty essential, but I do. So I will share that with you at the end of the episode. So, so much to be shared with you today. I cannot wait for it. So don't go anywhere. I will be right back. The GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast takes you on a journey of exploration. We'll discuss tried and true methods alongside the latest trends of how to best live your life to its fullest and happiest. From psychology to meditation, science to self-help books, the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast will help you to discover what makes you happy and how you can live life being the best you possible. Download the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere where you find podcasts just type gsmc in the search bar Welcome back to GSMC Beauty Tips Podcast. Okay, let's jump right into it. I got so much information to share for the round off today's episode, so let's get into it. So a night on the town is an excuse to go a little bit extra with your makeup, okay? If you are somebody that loves playing with makeup, a night out is just the perfect excuse to get a little funky with it, right? So even if you're not, you know, accustomed to using makeup all that much, a dramatic like evening look might not be as difficult to achieve as you may originally think. My first tip for you is go to YouTube, search up a night out glamorous uh, YouTube tutorial. There's so many amazing YouTube gurus that will walk you through, you know, some of the most difficult makeup looks, but they'll make it look so easy and really help you along the way. So if you need some fresh ideas, go to YouTube. That is my go-to. Search up your favorite beauty guru and just follow along with a night out look. Um, But, you know, your current makeup bag, you know, you got to go through it and you got to see, do I have everything I want to create this makeup look? If not, you might need to run to the store and pick up some of your favorites during the week before you plan your night out, right? But, you can usually take whatever you have from your regular everyday makeup bag and you can make a perfect going out look. So always start with a fresh and primed base for your face. You can achieve this using a really good primer. Okay, this is a very important step that this is an essential for going out. If you're going out, you're dancing or you're just eating dinner or you're drinking, you're moving around, your Facebook your Facebook, your face makeup will fall off your face. If you're anything like me that likes to dance around and sweat a lot, then you know that you need a good primer and also a good setting spray, which I will get to in a little bit, to hold in that makeup look. So (laughs) make sure you're using a proper primer. Um, A matte high coverage foundation is always great as well um, because of course it can kind of wear off throughout the night if you're sweating and moving around, even with that primer and that setting spray. 
spray. You never know. So use your favorite foundation. Um, bear in mind that if you are going to a club or a bar where it's going to be warm, this is where your makeup could get smudged, you can get bumped into. So just look for products that are long lasting, that are water resistant in case you get a drink knocked on you. Um, night out makeup is, however, mainly all about the eyes so get a hold of a cool eyeshadow palette that you love you know some professional brushes go to youtube find a perfect night out look whether you're doing like a dramatic smoky eye or something nice and sparkly and bedazzly there's so many looks that you can go to now my next for you is don't forget setting spray i mentioned this but don't let makeup meltdowns ruin your night okay so before going out spritz a lightweight makeup setting spray over the finished face to prevent your look from smearing, for smudging, crackling, caking. You know, it's also great for touch-up as well. So find your favorite setting spray. I love the Urban Decay setting spray. Um, The one from Drugstore, I use my NYX setting spray, which has also been really great. So there's a couple options for you that I suggest. Um, Make sure you forget you use your primer beforehand, applying all your foundation and the rest of your makeup. My next thing for you is try false lashes. If you're not a big makeup wearer, the idea of false lashes might be a little bit scary to you, a little bit intimidating, but you're having visions, you know, if you're having visions of applying a full spidery set to your entire eye, you know, don't worry, you know, put on a few individual lashes around the outside corners or you know, there's so many different strip lashes out there that are suitable for all eye types and everything. If you need a little bit of help, I'm sure one of your girlfriends can also help you or as always, head over to YouTube and search up a uh, tutorial. But using lashes, like false lashes, can make a huge dramatic change in your overall makeup look for a night out look. Um, metallic eyeliner, this is another thing. Um, you know, I'm not asking you to go get a super glittery green streak on your upper eyelid, but you know, we want to be subtly fabulous okay so you know a shimmery gold eyeliner it can really just add an understated sparkle and it works well with most skin tones so that's a really awesome idea you can also minimize the glitter factor by drawing the gold on top of a layer of brown liner and sticking with neutral shadow should top it off with a coat of mascara and then you'll have those kind of like perfectly festive eyes that aren't too much or too little um my next thing for you is dark nails Okay, so nail polish doesn't technically qualify as a makeup, but you can't, you can't, you know, completely ignore a manicure for a special night out. Dark nail polish is actually really in right now. It makes a statement. So blue, purple, grays are kind of the favorites at the moment. They add that like drama factor without competing with your face. So go for, you know, a darker nail color that will really make things pop. My next thing for you is red lips. Many women live in the fear of red lipstick, thinking that they can't handle such a bold color, but anyone can pull off red lips, okay? So a big date or a special event is the perfect time to start. Um, I definitely suggest trying out some red lipsticks beforehand. I have found very particular ones that work with my lips. Um, I really like a red lip stain. I find that those um, stay on the the most if I'm going out and I'm eating and I'm drinking constantly, then I'm going to want like a stain on my lips rather than like a matte lipstick. But find what works for you. Um, now with all of these tips I have for makeup, I'm giving you some really bold things to consider, right? So false lashes and red lips and smoky eyes and metallic eyeliner and all those things, right? The thing with going out is I, I like to pick one bold thing for, for each aspect, okay? So one bold thing for my makeup, whether that's a bold lip or a really, really bold eye. Like if I do a really, really bold dramatic eye look, I'll do a softer lip color, Or if I do like a bold lip color, maybe I'll do like a less dramatic eye look. So, you you know, you're not going too kind of in your face with all these bold statements. You know, just a red lip can make a world of difference for your entire appearance for a night out. Or those really, you know, dramatic, you know, lashes with a smoky eye, that can make a huge difference for your entire look. So my suggestion is picking one bold thing for each aspect. So one bold makeup thing, one bold hair thing, if you want, and one bold fashion sense. Maybe your shoes stand out or your skirt stands out. I'll get into that later in today's episode. So there you have it. Those are my makeup tips for a night out. Now let's talk about hair, okay? Hair is super, super important. I feel for many people, hair is literally their like crowning glory. And I think nothing says a big night out like a fabulously glamorous mane of hair that you just feel so confident in. Um, 
Even if you don't usually do anything to your hair on a day-to-day basis, an evening out with friends can be the perfect excuse to enjoying, you know, getting all dolled up and and fixing your hair and doing a different style. Um, How you style your hair for an occasion does kind of all depend on your personal preference, of course. But typically, the bigger, the bouncier, the better. So there is just something that looks, you know, extra luxurious about voluminous, shiny hair. So getting that perfect look is a whole different issue together though right so if you are planning on styling your hair you know with a curling iron or straighteners or different products it's better to use hair that is you know a couple days old so if you know you're going out on a Friday night and you know you want to curl your hair don't wash your hair that evening because curls will hold better if your hair is a little bit dirtier Um, I also suggest too, like putting in a really awesome treatment or like an overnight treatment a couple days before going out if you want your hair to be like extra shiny and soft or even the night before if you're okay to wash your hair like the day of totally depends on your hair type. My hair type is naturally curly so I can wash my hair like 10 minutes before you know I decide to curl it that day Um, and it's totally fine. I blow dry it and my curls stay in really well just because my hair is naturally curly but for some people that have like pin straight hair you're definitely going to want to wait a couple days and have like a little bit of dirtier hair um this is where dry shampoo becomes your best friend because that's going to help with volume it's going to take away the grease you know absorb any of that excess oil um and just kind of give that extra volume and messy textured look my tip for you here is to use dry shampoo not just on your scalp of your of your hair of your head (laughs) the scalp of your hair um but also use it throughout to to get that texture right if you don't have a texture spray specifically for your hair you can use dry shampoo if you have like wavy curls and you're going for that like extra bouncy like textured look put some dry shampoo kind of like spray it throughout and then kind of like scrunch your hair with it a little bit it's just going to add a little bit more of that gritty like fun texture it also help hold those curls into place and keep that texture and that like waviness throughout your night because whether you're dancing or whatever you're doing having that like fun kind of texture is really good and and you can hold that in by using the dry shampoo and then of course hairspray will also be one of your best friends when going on night out especially if you don't do your hair often hairspray is super super crucial especially when you have pin straight hair and you're going for this like voluminous curly style for the night out so make sure you're using the right products um you can also try back combing your hair at the root just make sure you're doing it in a way that's not going to overly damage your hair so if you have naturally thin hair and none of this is an option for you you can actually always get a hair piece as well um i just purchased clip in extensions i've you i've had extensions in my hair for a very long time um but i wanted to give my hair a break and i wanted just to be able to use them for a specific nights out or when I just felt like having my long hair back so I just purchased some clip-in extensions so maybe for a night out I would put my clip-in extensions in you know get that extra length that extra volume um so if you if you have hair like mine that you want to add an extra hair piece definitely do it um I think a lot of people go with the hair down on a night out half up half down keeps it a little bit more classy maybe if you want you know if you're going to like a fancy dinner doing like a cute little braided half up look is super super cute keeps it a little bit more formal but also still fun and plainful and allows you to have those bouncy curls so whatever works for you remember it's all about your preference and what you're going to feel confident and beautiful in so if I'm giving you these tips and you're like I don't like my hair curly don't curl your hair braid it I don't care put it up in a cool fun bun or a ponytail whatever you want you know just do something a little more funky than you would do during the week to help add in that extra confidence boost that you need on a night out okay it's time for another break but when we get back I will jump into my fashion tips for you on a night out we're going to talk about you know choosing the right outfit you know suitable shoes then I'll jump into things that you cannot forget for your night out sum it up with the things to carry in your purse as well as my one beauty essential that you're going to be surprised about (laughs) so stay tuned lots of fun information to share with you yet don't go anywhere Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. 
from news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. stretch of beauty tips podcast today i am your host Alyssa joe in case you forgot i'm having so much fun talking about a night out essentials um with you guys today it makes me want to plan a night out for myself with my girlfriends and you know i guess it's covid so maybe a night in where i still get dolled up and feel confident because you can totally do take all of these beauty essentials and tips that i'm talking about and just stay in like i said you can get ready to feel confident anytime during the week it doesn't have to be a specific night out or a date night or anything like that Um, I just thought a lot of people can relate to the kind of that subject but if you feel like getting ready and sitting on your couch and binge watching Netflix all to you girl I I totally agree with that I will not judge you for that one bit so take these tips and use them however you would like I just kind of categorize them into a night out or a girls night or a date night um, just because I feel like those are the nights that we do want to get a little extra dolled up but there's nothing wrong with putting on a full face of makeup to hang out and take a couple selfies for your Instagram and then lay on the couch and binge watch Netflix I'm definitely not judging you for that one. So (laughs) here we go. My next tips for you are all about fashion. Now, most likely you will change your outfit a thousand times and then you will end up wearing the very first outfit that you put on at the beginning of the night. Um, You know, this is just a pretty common thing, especially with women. I probably do this almost every single time. Um, You know, you'll probably have to find that first outfit under the mountain of clothes that you kind of took off your hangers and threw there because you just weren't happy with it. But nine times out of ten, you end up going with your very first outfit. But once again, and I'm not judging you for going through 20 outfits because I do it pretty much every single time. So feeling confident and comfortable in what you're wearing is probably the most important thing for a big night out. Um, after all, you are there to enjoy yourself, burn off some stress, you know, not to spend the whole time feeling self-conscious and worrying about how you look. So realizing that you don't feel comfortable in your chosen outfit um, at the last moment is bad enough, but not having another option to replace that uncomfortable outfit is even worse. So have a couple, you know, options set up for you you know if you bought a new dress you're like yeah I'm gonna plan to wear this on Friday night have a couple backup options because you never know what you're gonna feel confident in maybe you feel really bloated on that day and you don't want to wear that super cute tight dress um that night because you just don't feel comfortable in it so have some backup options so you're not leaving yourself super stressed now when it comes to suitable shoes um (laughs) why is it that we don't pay much attention to the height of our shoes before a night out but then halfway through um with lots of fresh blisters happening on our ankles you know we silently curse for you know putting ourselves through that much pain women have worn high heeled shoes for decades and they tend to be the go-to choice of footwear um for any kind of remotely formal event right however you know the classy formality of a shoe tends to kind of lose its sheen when the wearer has to take them off to walk home barefoot afterwards. I know I'm not the only one that's done that. Um, So contrary to popular belief, there are ways to wear high heels that don't cause such discomfort throughout the night so that you can kind of party in any style all throughout the night. Now, I highly suggest not buying a new pair of shoes and wearing them on your first night out when they are like six inches tall because you haven't broken them in. Um, You know, I always like to wear more like chunky 
chunky heels so like um wedges or just like a block heel instead because those are easier to walk in i find them more comfortable now i am extremely short so i live in high heels i totally understand wanting to be in high heels all the time because i i'm so so short so especially for a night out you bet i'm gonna be wearing a pair of heels so chunky like block heels are i find usually most comfortable and even though i want an extra six inches of a height i don't let myself do that i'll do a you know maybe a three inch heel like four maximum but find what's going to be comfortable for you so the first thing to do is just to make sure that you're wearing heels that actually fit you properly. So many people actually wear heeled shoes that either are too big for them or too small for them. And then that's where like all the rubbing starts and you get those blisters. Um, so try to find a pair with adjustable straps as well so that you can have control of how firmly they fit to your feet. And throughout the night, you might find yourself loosening them or tightening them. So having those adjustable straps is super beneficial. Um, like I said, chunky heels or wedges are typically easier to walk in and balance um just you know because your weight is spread over a greater surface area whereas like stilettos are kind of a no-no for anyone who feels a little bit scared with high-heeled shoes i don't suggest stilettos um simply just or you can just simply literally ditch the heels altogether if you feel comfortable doing so i think there's like something like super cute about wearing like a really cute tiny like sneaker out you know it totally depends on what you're wearing but even like wearing a cute little dress and then kind of dressing it down with a cute little sneaker i love that look i think it's so cute i even though i am short and i love wearing heels you will find me you know at a bar or a pub or even a club in my little sneakers because it I just feel like it downs the outfit a little bit. If I feel like wearing like a super fancy dress, then I can kind of, you know, dress it down by like wearing some like cute little sneakers or like little flats to kind of go with the outfit. And I think it just rounds everything out. So, you know, there's no set rule that you have to wear heels with that being said. So try out some different styles for, you know, a quirky and more comfortable look because really you want to feel comfortable and confident throughout your night out. Now, my list of don't forgets is perfume accessories and fake tan okay so if you're rocking a mini skirt or a cute dress make sure you do you know your self tan routine before so you can feel confident you know me i am naturally ginger my skin is basically blinding to a human eye i am so white so i love my fake tan routine i will definitely do that the day before a night out to make sure i have a nice glow whether i'm wearing a dress or not i love to have it on my arms or my chest and a more tan face just because i have such a fair complexion accessories you know never underestimate some good accessories but also don't wear your most expensive earrings your most expensive bracelet and necklace and all these different things because going for a night out you never know what's going to happen you never know where you might end up so just make sure you have accessories that are beautiful but that you won't feel completely you know just torn down if you do lose them because I find nights out accidents happen and you might accidentally you know misplace a very expensive earring which can ruin a night out so I love to even if I have like an expensive accessory like expensive necklace or earring set that I absolutely love I will go find like a duplicate at like a cheaper location just so I can wear them on a night out and not be worried about that um, and then perfume. Make sure you're smelling good. Um, I feel like this is something sometimes we kind of overlook because we're rushing out the door and we forget to put on a nice perfume. But there's nothing better than feeling like you also smell good. So put your deodorant on. Put some perfume on. I have like a specific going out perfume that I like to wear. It has a little bit of a stronger scent. It lasts a little bit longer so I know it will last throughout the night. Um, and it just makes you feel good. Smelling good gives you an extra boost of confidence as well. So never underestimate a good spray of perfume now what to carry in your purse on a night out um one of my essentials is makeup wipes because sometimes I'll end up going to a friend's house or whatever happens throughout my night and I'll end up just wanting to take my makeup off I've actually taken my makeup off in like cab ride homes before or like you know when I have somebody come pick me up to take me home or go to a friend's place I'm like already taking off my makeup in the car I love getting dolled up and putting makeup on and feeling all confident for a night out but I also love taking off my makeup at the end of that night. So if you are like me, you know, pack a little, you know, some makeup wipes in your bag. There's like some mini travel packs you can get. Um, I also, if you are wearing false lashes, pack a plastic bag 
um, in your purse. So then you can take off your false lashes if you want throughout the night <laughs> and put them in a plastic bag so you don't lose them. I, I never wear false lashes, but I have so many friends that do, and we always find them in such weird places, like, the next morning, like, you know, sometimes you just kind of forget, and you just, like, take off your lashes and throw them wherever, but those things are reusable, so bring a plastic bag and put your lashes in there if you're gonna want to take them out throughout the night. Um, lip balm or the lipstick or lip gloss that you decided to wear throughout that night, definitely that is an essential in your bag. Um, eyelash glue if you are wearing falsies because sometimes with dancing and sweating, you know, those things might, your lashes might start to lift up. So you want to have that, you know, eyelash glue just to make sure that you can glue it back down so you're not losing your eyelashes. Um, there's lots of like little mini eyelash glues that you can just bring in your purse, which will be really beneficial for you if you are wearing falsies. You never know when those bad boys are going to try to rip off or just just decide to fall off for you in the middle of the dance floor then you got one you know one eye with beautiful lashes the other one with nothing and we don't want that right so make sure you bring your glue with you that is definitely an essential um and compact powder that is another one of my essentials for a going out night you know I don't want to bring my foundation and all these different things I find a compact powder though is my go-to just to you know if I do get oily or sweaty on a night out I can kind of dab myself dry right make sure I'm not shining um basically whatever your essential should be is what you care about most like for me it's the compact powder to make sure like under my eyes aren't creasing or anything like that or I can splotch any oiliness I always make sure I have my lip balm with me or my lipstick whatever I'm wearing that night um those are just some essentials I also never wear false lashes but I love having big bold lashes still my lashes I was blessed with decently long lashes so I actually always bring like a mini mascara with me just in case something happens but if you're wearing falsies I just suggest bringing that glue with you and now I'm going to end today's episode off with the last thing that I find as an essential I carry this on a night out I carry this on a day-to-day basis this is my beauty essential which you will probably not consider a beauty essential but my final thing for you is a protein bar (laughs) okay you're probably like what the heck it's just because I'm the type of person that can get very hangry and there is nothing beautiful about being hangry okay so that's why I consider it a beauty essential because if my stomach starts rumbling and I'm starving I can get cranky and like I said nothing beautiful about that so I always have like a little mini protein bar or like some kind of snack in my purse so that you know I can make sure that I'm not going to be a cranky at dinner or anything like that right so that is my beauty essential it's also you know really great for you know even if your friend gets cranky you know a little hangry there and you're like hey have this protein bar so we don't you know so we don't ruin our night out (laughs) so there you go my weird beauty essential I am I'm probably not the only one that likes to carry a snack with me on a night out but that is my kind of go-to beauty essential because I'm not beautiful when I am hangry. <laughs> All right, well, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to GSMC uh, Beauty Tips Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're notified when there are new episodes out. Head over to the social media pages. Give those a like and a follow. And as always, do not forget to leave that five-star review. It helps out a ton, puts a giant smile on my face. So thank you so much. Stay happy, stay positive, and always give yourself a confidence boost when you need it. Thank you so much. Bye. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows from the GSMC Podcast Network, from health and wellness wellness to entertainment and life and happiness to sex and relationships you can also follow us on twitter and facebook thank you and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the golden state media concepts beauty tips podcast